optimistic as the, the days have passed? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, the initial reaction, you're obviously bummed about it and everything, but uh, yeah, just hold the cap a little bit, so it's nothing too serious, and just take it day by day at this point. You said you hold the cap? I thought mm -hmm. it was a confusion. I, I tweak the muscle, whatever, I mean, whatever word you want to use for it. A bruise? Yeah. Or a strain? I, I strained it a little bit, I mean, there you go. yeah. Did it happen on that hider play where uh, Terry came around and did he, did he step on the back of your, yeah, your foot? Yeah, it was uh, kind of a freak play. Just um, I was kind of jumping back after I threw it to avoid uh, the pressure in front of me, and he kind of hit me at the same time. So just a, I don't know, unfortunate situation. But, yeah, it's it's not terrible right now. Was it a, a kick or did he sort of step on you as he no, was No, it was trying? like uh, his knee actually was in the back of my calf while I was pushing off the ground, so... Just kind of got caught in an awkward position. Jimmy, by not practicing today, what does that do in terms of your availability for Sunday preparation? Uh, it doesn't really change anything. I think uh, mentally I feel pretty good, you know, just with the game plan and everything, all the install we just put in. Uh, but, you know, physically, hopefully get out there tomorrow and we'll take it day by day, like I said, and uh, see where this calf gets. Is there a day where you feel like, okay, come on uh, Saturday, I, I won't be able to go, that you'll know, or you, will you take it up to game time? Uh, I mean, it could go up to game time. We've done it before up to game time, and it's really just about getting the mental reps while I can out there today, uh, see where I'm at tomorrow and everything. But, yeah, just uh, I don't want to put anything in stone yet. You said that you've done it before. Is that Miami mm -hmm. last year, so up, up to game time? Uh, yeah, I mean, just in the past, yeah. Do you still go through walkthrough? I'm out there for it. Uh, our walkthrough kind of turns into a jog through, so <laughs> they held me out of it today. If you were playing for Trey, is probably going to be a little bit different than if it was you. Is is it? Do you have to come up with like two different game plans to, you know, prepare for this? Uh, fortunately, I don't. I don't game plan. I just. Oh, I <laughs> but uh, no, the coaches. Yeah, they uh, they do a great job with that stuff. Just um, getting us ready. Whatever we got to do, we'll we'll go out there and perform it. So it's uh, you know, for us, it's just physically getting getting ready and mentally processing whatever they they give us. If you were to play this weekend, would there be a, a possibility that you could be 100% healthy or would you be battling through it at that point, even if you did play? Uh, yeah, battling through it probably. I mean, we'll take it, like I said, day by day. But, uh, I mean, it, it, it hurts, but it is what it is at this point. When you, you know, in the early part of this week, how much do you kind of uh, worry about yourself and get yourself right? And also, I'm sure that Trey, if thrown out there, He's going to need your support, and he's going to need your set of eyes and your, oh, yeah. your everything. So how do you do that? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of the balancing act. Uh, I've been doing it a little bit today. You know, just if Trey has any questions, anything that just I've ran in the past or that he hasn't ran, uh, helping him out anyway with that. But like I said, I'm preparing to play. I'm mentally getting ready for that. So, you know, we'll, we'll see where we're at uh, come Sunday. How do you feel mentally you know, after the game? Understandably, you seem down. Just I'm good, yeah, after the, I mean, obviously just upset after the game, you know, the whole circumstance, but I feel pretty good right now. Uh, you know, get this game plan down mentally, just keep it moving. Uh, you know, it was a big week for us. A couple more? Jimmy, I, I know you weren't necessarily playing uh, last time you guys were in Arizona for, for that long stretch, but you were down there that, that whole time, right? Mm -hmm. what, what, was, what was that experience like uh, for you, and, and what did maybe you take away from it in terms of things that could help you or help the team moving forward? Uh, from that experience, yeah, <laughs> it made us a lot closer. I'll tell you that. <laughs> just the whole team being stuck in a hotel for a month or so, whatever it was, uh, it's a lot of time spent together. And so you, you learn a lot about guys. I think you know we've had a couple new guys come in this week, and I've just heard comments from them just how close our team is. You know the friendships. Uh, it's not like that on every team. So I think it's it's something that you know you got to cherish while you got it. It's only week five, but did, did you, is there a sense of urgency coming off? There's always a sense of urgency. I think in the NFL, you know, there's a lot of season left to play, but every week, if you don't have a sense of urgency, you got no chance out there. So I think that's one thing that we do well here. Uh, you know, we come out to practice with the right mindset. Uh, we got good leaders on this team to set the tone, and I think we keep doing that. We'll be all right. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. You.